It's just a tiny Brahmini blind snake, little kitty. Imagine what would have happened if a Titanoboa was still alive. Titanoboa? Yes, kitty. The legendary Titanoboa is the biggest snake that ever crawled on earth. Hey friends, I'm sure you two are curious to know more about these giant creatures called Titanoboa. So, in today's episode, let us explore their existence and answer a terrifying question. What if the Titanoboa didn't go extinct? Zoom in! Around 60 million years ago, in the deep rivers of Colombia, South America, swam the world's giant snake called the Titanoboa. With an estimated length of more than 40 feet and weighing around 1000 kilograms, these creatures were said to be almost three times the size of the giant anaconda. Experts speculate that it belongs to the snake family called boids, commonly known as boas, which are non-venomous snakes. But despite the lack of venom, the Titanoboa was blessed with sharp teeth that they might use to grab hold of their prey. And it's been said that the teeth can bend like curved hooks sticking into you. The more the prey struggles, the more it gets hooked. Once that happens, these creatures squeeze their prey with all their strength, leading to ischemia within few minutes. Meaning, the blood flow to the heart or the brain is restricted due to pressure, causing a shortage of oxygen and eventually death. Once the prey departs, the fossil records reveal that a Titanoboa's lower jaw extends past the back of the skull, giving it a greater scope of movement when opening its mouth, allowing it to consume prey even as large as a human in just one piece. A snake of this size would probably have to eat about 40 kilograms of food every day, which is twice as much as an anaconda. So to fulfill its daily diet needs, the Titanoboas probably fed on giant turtles, primitive crocodiles and other giant creatures of its time. This is not good news because it means humans would have been an ideal supplement for them if they would have still roamed around. Yes, if the Titanoboa didn't go extinct, they still would have been swimming in the Amazon River as they move effortlessly in water and prefer a hot, humid jungle region. So, there could be chances of them migrating to Florida, which is humid for the most part of the year. And the presence of alligators, one of Titanoboa's favorite snacks. Or they could have even moved to Asia due to its warmer climate. So anyone going hunting and fishing in these areas was likely to come across the Titanoboa. But there is a good side to it as well. Yes, these giant snakes could have helped maintain the ecological balance by eating animals like pigs, raccoons and other creatures causing trouble due to overpopulation. But these are mere assumptions as unfortunately, the Titanoboa went extinct millions of years ago due to climate change. But the terror of other giant snakes still exists as large pythons and anacondas still roam the earth. And do you want to know what would happen if an anaconda gets hold of humans? Well, for that, do watch our video, What if an anaconda swallows you? The link is in the description below. Trivia time! Did you know the name Titanoboa means Titanic Boa? In 2009, the fossils of 28 individuals of Titanoboa 
were found in the Sereho formation of the coal mines of Sereho in La Guaria, Colombia. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Help! Help! Snake! Help! Ah, uh, never mind.